Well, hello and welcome everyone. This is so exciting. We are here on Facebook Live and it's the WSA TV show. I'm Laura Rubenstein, your host and producer of Women Speakers Association's WSA TV. And I'm also the author of Social Media Myths Busted, the Small Business Guide to Online Revenue. I'm a digital media and marketing strategist. And today we have a fabulous show. We have amazing experts. We're talking all about increasing your impact. How can you make a bigger difference in the world? And our experts today are ready to share with you their tips on how you can create that greater impact. I'd like to go say hello to each of our experts. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen, get them on camera, and go right to them to say hello. Hello, Miss Cheryl. Hi, Laura. Thanks for having me here today. My name is Cheryl Ketchens. I'm the CEO of Wellness is Power, and I live in Michigan, and my specialization is working with youth. I believe every youth has an opportunity and should be uh, have an opportunity to have, ex receive success. I'm sorry. We're great. Great to have you here. Thanks for being here. And let's well, go over to Wani. Sorry about that. Hi, Wani. Hey, nurse. Hi, Laura. Thank you so much for having me here. And hello to the other speakers as well, too. My name is Wani Iris Manley, and I'm in Paris, France. Um, I'm an international motivational speaker, a money karma coach. And I'm also the best selling author of this book, Get Out of Survival Mode and Live the Life You Really Want. And I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Happy to have you, and great. Let's go over to Cindy. Hi, Cindy. You can unmute. Hello, everybody. I'm Hi, we're together. <laughs> I am Cindy Ashton. I'm born and raised in Canada. I live in New York City, but I'm currently on tour and in Southern California. As we speak, I am a national TV host of Cindy Uncorked, and also I'm a presentation skills trainer with Your Persuasive Voice. Oh, great. Oh, man. This is very exciting because we have some incredible leadership and wisdom here as we have at Women Speakers Association. So let's talk about how do you create impact, right? Um, so Cheryl, I want to start with you because you work with youth and that's where we all start. So what advice do you have, Cheryl, for helping you know people increase their impact? One of the things I'd start with, Laura, is finding a way to get involved with teens. We, there are teens in, in our schools, there's teens in our churches, there's teens in our community. Getting involved with teens is the greatest way to make an impact. Getting, getting involved at a rec center where there's a lot of youth, especially the youth that I deal with that are at risk. Youth are everywhere and have a background in teaching. Uh, transition youth, which are youth with disabilities. I have a background in teaching youth that are um, economically disadvantaged. I've helped them with employment and training. So there's a number of ways to, I've got an extensive background with dealing with youth, and there's a number of ways to get involved and make an impact on those lives, whether it's in your church or in your community or in your schools. Youth are everywhere. Find them, get involved, make an impact on their life. Making an impact will make a difference in, in that youth. An investment, a small investment of time makes a huge, huge difference in their lives. And that's what I've found. I love teens. I've always loved teens. I raised three teens of my own, and I just, just adore them. They don't have those pre-biases and preconceptions already. They are ready for the shaping and the molding. And that's where it's exciting to me to interact with them and get them involved in things. So we all have an opportunity to make an impact on our youth's uh, lives. So I'm, I can't be more excited than to tell you everybody has an opportunity to make an impact on a young life. And they deserve that chance too, right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. That's great. All right, so when so we get we want to start early with the youth and then Wani, I know you work with people in a very special way. Why don't you tell us how your advice for creating a, increasing impact in the world? people want to do that. My advice to creating impact in the world is actually starting with yourself in a relationship that you have with, with yourself. What I'm getting at is that talking about self-love, you know, we're never taught how to actually love ourselves. We're taught to look for love outside of us. And so what we don't realize is that every single problem that we actually have in our life that's in our external situations actually coming from a lack of self-love within us and a lack of self-worth. And, self and so when you're not loving yourself, 
life is very, very, very difficult. And no matter what you do externally to try to fix things on the outside, if you are not dealing with your lack of self-worth, your, uh, your self-worth issues on the inside, you're not going to be actually fully be yourself and to actually create the impact and actually relating to connect with people and have a meaningful relationship and authentic relationship and actually get your points across with people if you're not really healed in your own self. So when you begin to just come from a place of self-love, of a place where you feel complete, you're much more able to impact others in your conversations with them and how you deal with other people and the work that you do as well too. Beautiful. So, and I, you know, what, what I love about both Cheryl and Wani, your work is, you know, if we do enough work with the youth, um, they're going to come from a place of self-love, you know, and then, then we can take it to the next step, which is where Cindy, I'd love for you to share your advice on how people, once they're, you know, connected to themselves, how can right. they increase their impact? So the main thing that I tell people to get started with how they present themselves is understand and know your message on a very deep level. I see a lot of people going out there and saying, oh, I help people to feel better. I help people to be motivated and feel this and feel that. And it's way too generic and you're, you're going to be lost among the crowd. So for example, I had a client who came to me and said, oh, I've got my message down. I help people to declutter. And I said, well, that doesn't really draw me in. So it has to be real world and specific in a way that people go, Ooh, I have that issue. I want to know more. So when I worked with her, we came up with, I help entrepreneurs who have messy desks to organize their leads so they can follow up and make more sales. And automatically it goes from decluttering to, Ooh, yeah, I've got that messy desk or Ooh, my desk is okay, but those leads are in a pile and they're not organized or, you know, it automatically makes it real world and tangible for them to be able to interact and get pulled in by you. Messaging makes all the difference. Uh, I, I really think, I, I totally agree with that. I'd love to say how you think is not how they think, you know, your market thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to start thinking like them. And I think each one of you have kind of pointed to that in a sense that, you know, you really have to step outside of yourself, but that means you need to be really connected to yourself first so that you don't worry about things. You know, the self-love, also having the confidence that you give as a, you know, to youth, right? So, and then you can have that clarity of message. So, you know, now I want to understand where do you all come from? Because I think everybody watching, we're here on Facebook. Hi, everyone. If you have comments or questions, please put them in the comment box on our Women's Speakers Association Facebook page here. Feel free to say hello. Let us know where you're tuning in from. We want to interact with you here on the comments at the uh, right here on the video. So thank you for watching. And so let's get to know you guys and where, you know, how, what are you really passionate about? Who do you work with and what do you do with them? So tell us a little more, Cheryl, about your work. I work with right now, I'm working with a, a person that has, his name is Larry, and he has a program called Catch a Kid here in Jackson. So I, I, I guess it's okay to say his full name. His name is Larry Artis, and he has a program that's been in place for about eight years, and he brought me in last year, and I'm so excited about it. So when he says catch a kid, he's talking about let's catch a kid before they fall through the cracks of the system and they end up incarcerated like he did for a number of years of his life. I actually met with him this morning, and that's why I was running a little bit late. Um, but anyway, he has an exciting program, and what he does, we take youth on field trips. So he's got, he's, uh, he took, a, actually, on the 27th to a Pistons ball game here in Michigan. So that's very exciting. So they go to, they're exposed to the arts and other cultural things. They're exposed to employment in our communities so that they can dream bigger, so that they can be bigger. So Catch a Kid is an awesome program, and I'm looking forward to get bigger and bigger over the next year here, because Larry has designed a game, a very interactive game of stacking, what he calls stick nastics. And that is going to be something he's going to do in a couple weeks at uh, Eastern Mich Michigan University's uh, campus. And it's a stacking game with skills and knowledge, and the kids, it's a... Uh, Take it as far as you can take it kind of thing. And it's a competition that he'll be performing. But Catch a Kid is just that. Catch a kid before they fall through the system of the cracks and end up incarceration. Our youth are beautiful. We want to invest our time in them. It doesn't take a lot of money. Everybody acts like the schools and things like that, that they have to have money in order to make a youth a viable citizen. You don't need money. They need your time. 
That's all they need is our time and an investment in them, and you can make them blossom. It's like a flower. You just watch them grow. Just that little seed of time, even if it's only 20, 30 minutes. You see a youth somewhere, even at a mall, and I see a youth and I make eye contact with them and I go up, hi, how are you? And just engage them, and especially those youth that may be sitting on the sitting on a bench at a mall and then they, they look sad or they're down and I want to say hello to them. So I'm I'm drawn to going to that youth and saying, hi, how are you? You mind if I sit next to you for a minute and just get connected with them? It's so easy to do. And like I said, it doesn't doesn't require money. It requires time, an investment of time. And I think that's the greatest way we can make an impact on our kids today. Uh, I've got beautiful grandchildren and they have more things than they absolutely need. So when they come over to grandma and grandpa's house, what do they want? They just want time, okay? We've got toys over here for them too. And we've noticed we don't even have to turn the TV set on, okay? They're little ones, they're not teens, but they will be one day. And all you have to do is invest that time. And so they run around here gleefully and happy. And it's because when they come over here, they know they're gonna get an investment of time in them and activities that they enjoy. It has nothing to do with buying the things, even as adults. So that's where I'm at. I'm like, I love the kids and it's easy to make an impact on their lives. Well, we can definitely see how much how much passion you have for youth and and youth is is you know we all grow up from youth so let's make a difference there i love your stories about your your kids and grandkids and all that that's great so um wani let's learn a little bit more about your work and um you know what are you passionate about who are you passionate about working with and what do you do for them actually you know i'm passionate about helping people clear their money karma what i mean by that is that you know we all have this is a particular issue that so many of us actually struggle with right and a lot of us were not you know we're very um quite unlucky in terms of growing up with very enlightened parents that really knew uh the impact of some of the things they were telling us when we were you know we're very little so a lot of us grew up with very negative um money stories you know we grew up hearing things such like money is the root of all evil um, that it's wrong to, you know, to to want money, to, to it's wrong to, you know, to be pursuing money. And so a lot of us are, as an adult, or as adults, we're struggling with money because as, let's say, 45 or 50 year olds, or whatever however age you, you are right now, what's running our financial show is a younger version of us, right? And it's based upon the beliefs that we heard from our parents, from our early caregivers, from like the ages zero to seven, that we're quite unaware of, and that's what is actually creating our financial circumstances. So a lot of people are, you know, are living like I wrote in my book, you know, in survival mode. You know, survival mode is supposed to be like a temporary life or death situation, but so many people are actually caught in this lifestyle of where they're living paycheck to paycheck, client to client. Um, they're living in, uh, they're working at jobs that actually are, they're not really uh, enthused about. So my work is actually helping people see what those blocks are and really getting to clear about what their money stories are that's actually affecting them today, clearing those money blocks and actually building their wealth conscious to actually create a life they really love and actually fall in love with. I love that. Do you have a story of how you actually did that or how you came to this? Um, well, it was actually partly my journey as well, too. So when I became an entrepreneur, I didn't get to say in the very beginning, but I'm also an attorney as well, too. I've been a corporate a security store for about 15 years. And when I got into entrepreneurship, um, I started to just struggle with money. Um, it wasn't I wasn't making any money. It was just like it was just coming where I was working, working really, really hard. And I just started to, you know, I got on a spiritual path and then my teacher and started becoming exposed to Eastern teachings and personal development and began really looking into who I was from, you know, from the inside out. And I started to discover about creating my reality or how we all are creating our reality based on what we're believing, what we're thinking. I still look into universal laws and begin to discover, oh, wow, this is exactly what's really going on. I, started to see, I got to see the connection between the stories or the beliefs that I heard from my, my parents, how they were actually like creating like the paradigm from what my life really was now. And so I became just actually like completely stoked about the information. I wanted to basically help everybody and free everybody. And so this is what I'm actually doing now, which I really love. So. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. We're stoked to have be free of our money karma conversation, right? Absolutely. That's great. Thank you. Okay, Cindy, we want to know more about this message clearing and what you who you work with and what you do for them and tell us yeah. a little bit more. So I have 
two markets. I have people who are high level executives and entrepreneurs, people who have already reached a certain level of success. So they might go to a speaker trainer, but then they come to me for the second person. So I take them from here to there. I'm really that person that helps them to catapult their influence and their impact very, very quickly. But then I also work with speakers as well who actually speak on a stage and on camera. And so I work with them from everything from speaking voice to body language, to posture, to their speech writing, to their messaging, to how to land high paid bookings. It's very, 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 comprehensive. Um, I just love what I do. So for example, recently I had a client who came to me and she said, you know, Cindy, I don't know why I'm only closing 4% on the phone in my sales conversations. And when I looked at her website, her message was clear, her branding was great, the way that her marketing funnels were great. And I knew that there was a problem in her presentation style. And there's a lot of people who are doing everything quote unquote right, but they're not getting results. And the reason why is because of their presentation style. They don't know how to story tell or they're something in the way that they're projecting themselves. So for her, the minute she got on the phone, I knew it was her speaking voice. She's like, hi, Cindy, it's blah, blah, blah. And today I was like, oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> and so she sounded very insecure and I was able to hear immediately that um, I was able to hear immediately that even though I don't see people because I've been doing this for 20 years, I was able to see that she's a sloucher, which makes her voice softer, which makes it sound meek and it makes it sound insecure. And I was able to tell that she grips a lot in the throat because she couldn't project her voice. So after six weeks of training her speaking voice, she now increased to 40% of a close rate on the phone, which is remarkable. And it really goes to show that how we present ourselves, whether it's the words we use, how we use our body language, or speaking voice really can make the difference in your level of impact and influence. Wow, that's a great example. I mean, oh, and, thank and you. what I love about what you do is it's not just one technique you have to learn or master, it's really evaluating your whole, mm -hmm. um, your whole arena of how are you how are you messaging and how are you presenting so to make the greatest impact so I don't know if you realize yeah. what we, we did here today we have quite the power team here helping everyone from youth to people having a, conver a conversation and more powerful relationship with money to having the best message and presentation to have the greatest impact we can have here in the world the three of you you know I want to put back on on screen your um, your information. If any of these areas resonated with you, please be in touch with either Cindy, Wani, or Cheryl for their amazing information. Or you just want to connect with them more deeply. This is what we're about at the Women's Speakers Association is connecting you with great resources and people who just you may resonate with because you haven't found your tribe yet. We are the tribe. And by the way, uh, we'd love to have you join our tribe. You just have to go to joinwsa.com. We've got a free level of membership waiting for you right there. Um, and these women, Cindy, Wani, and Cheryl, are all premier members. And that's why we offer them a way to make a greater impact with things like WSA TV and a lot of other host of other opportunities that we offer our premier members. So with that, I want to ask each of you, what do you love about Women Speakers Association or why did you join this organization? What brought you to us? So let's go ahead and start with Cheryl. I love about Women Speakers Association that you can network and connect with other women. Women own the world. We're global. We're the backbone, as you've always heard, behind the man. Every president, our last president, including uh, President Barack Obama, Michelle Obama was a powerful powerhouse of a woman. Could he be out there doing the things he could that he was doing without a strong woman behind him? We are just powerful. And WSA allows women to connect with other powerful women and to support and connect and lift each other up and create opportunities that we would not have otherwise. It's just that I just love WSA. I'm a fairly new member, but I can see already what it's going to do for me and how uh, the members of WSA have reached out to me and welcomed me in and oriented me to what needs to happen or what will happen to me during this process. And so it's very, very exciting to me. And uh, I can't say enough good things about WSA and what it can do for your career, for your life personally, and just, just being a woman, connected with other women and doing some great things in the world and making an impact. That's really what we are about. So thank you for that, Cheryl. And Wani, what do you love about Women Speakers Association? 
Well, following Cheryl's comments, which I concur with, you know, I'm also a freely new member as well, too. So for me, I love the camaraderie of, of getting together with other women that are like-minded and actually like, you know, you know, becoming a power force. And so for me, I appreciate the, the, the resources, the connecting with other women, because I'm actually at a point where in my career where um, it's quite it, it's quite prevalent for me. And so WSP Association provides a platform, the networking, the resources, and meeting other women globally. And it's creating an awesome impact. So, it is. That's our mission to create that global impact for sure. And it is great to connect, as both of you said. And and Cindy, how about you? What are you looking forward to, or what do you love about Women Speakers Association? What I love about the Women Speakers Association is that they are all about empowering us to get to the next level, and they really are. I mean, I'm just basically saying the same things as Wani and Cheryl, is that they really are about connecting people and really helping us to grow. It's not just a membership that you go in and suddenly you're paying your dues and nothing happens. There is so much value and content going out constantly that it truly helps the women, no matter what level they are, to catapult to the next level. Yes, and I just want to let all of you know that Mary Joyce has great tips, Cindy, and uh, awesome tips from East Stacy says that. Uh, so thank you for being here, lovely women of influence and impact. You're making a huge contribution. Thank you, viewers, for watching. We are here to support you. Please join us at joinwsa.com if you're not already a member and we'll help you grow your impact for sure. So we will be back with you next week for another edition of uh, WSA TV. And it's uh, been a pleasure being with you. Let's everybody get on camera and we can all say uh, bye to everyone. <laughs> and we'll uh, be bye. back with you next time. Thank you, bye, Lauren. Everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye, and thank bye, you, Lauren, WSA. Bye.